Andy Hudson Knight here. If you have no audio or very low audio out of one or both of your AirPods, I have a couple of techniques that are going to help you solve this problem quickly almost all of the time. This is a common issue with AirPods and I'm going to get into these techniques and how you can do them to get that full audio back. Okay, let's start with the most simple and move our way to a little bit more involved technique for handling the no audio or low audio out of your AirPods. First, we what we want to do is we want to do something that's very quick and easy for possibly getting that audio back, and that is to take your AirPod case and your phone. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings on your phone. Now I'm working on an iPhone. If you have an Android device, then the process will be a little bit different, but the technique is the same. What we want to do is come into our settings and then go into Bluetooth here, which I currently don't have on, but I'll turn it on, and find your AirPods. And you want to tap the I next to that and or in your Android device get to where you can forget the device and I tapped it it's going to give me a confirmation it will also say it's going to be disconnected from iCloud that's fine we're going to reconnect this anyway so I'll forget the device now my AirPods are completely disconnected from my phone let's go to our case here make sure your AirPods are in the case I have generation 2 non wireless charging case so I'm going to have my indicator light here inside the case if you have a wireless case charging case the light will be on the outside so what you want to do is you want to hold this button on the back right there and make sure your lid is open with the AirPods in in place and we're gonna hold that for approximately 15 seconds and you can see my indicator light it is flashing white yours might start out flashing an amber color but it should turn white and after 15 seconds or so it did flash a little differently there that indicates that it is now fully reset so what we can do is we can now repair it with our phone repair not <laughs> repair you know the single word okay so you see it popping up on my phone I will connect it they are now connected. So let's go back in here to my settings. So I guess before I do that, I will test it. I'll take an AirPod out and put it in my ear. Now you should see the little indicator pop up that it is connected, which is good. So that leads us into uh, the next part of this technique, which is to go into some settings here in my phone so again we want to tap on that blue eye circle next to my AirPods. Now make sure that you have one of your AirPods out in your ear. Make sure that uh, they, they are paired otherwise this menu won't show up. And what we can do here, some issues that I've seen uh, that people have had have been easily resolved by uh, doing these following techniques. One is to turn off and on the automatic ear detection which simply just recognizes whether your AirPod is in your ear or not. That can possibly relate to some audio problems. So toggle that off and on and see if that takes care of your problem. If it doesn't, then another thing that you can do, this may sound strange, is to toggle the microphone back to the right, the left. See if this makes any difference with your audio. Uh, one other technique that it just remembered is to do a reset of your network. So go into your general re settings, go into reset, and then what you'd want to do is tap on this reset network settings. I'm not going to do it on my phone. Uh, you would have to enter your passcode. What that does is it, it just causes your phone to forget all of the network connections, uh, primarily the Wi-Fi connections. And so that, that does a full reset of of that and it can also help uh, with the audio connection of your AirPods in some cases. 
A second technique that is going to help you with these audio problems on your AirPods. Now we looked at uh, the connection settings, some Bluetooth uh, toggle settings that could help get that audio back, but what if that doesn't work? Well, a technique that has helped many, many people, and I have a couple of videos that go into detail on this, relates to cleaning your AirPods, especially the front speaker on your AirPod, the, the large speaker here in the front, that can tend to get so clogged up with earwax. So there's a grill in front of that speaker on your AirPod, and that grill tends to be a magnet, if you will, for the earwax that that can tend to uh, live in our ears. And so the best way to clean this out that I've found proven over and over again, I've done this many times in my own AirPods. If you check out my other videos about the cleaning, you'll see hundreds and hundreds of comments of how this has worked great for a lot of people. And it's simply to take uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and I just have some in a little bottle here, and a Q-tip. That's my tool of choice. You can also use a toothbrush um, or some sort of soft bristle brush that can fit into that front speaker area. I just put a little bit on and then make sure not to put a whole lot of the alcohol on. And then I just rub that front speaker, cleaning out whatever I can out of that speaker. See some of that nasty wax on my Q-tip that's come out and you know that we weren't even really able to see that wax just by looking at it but it it is living in there because these things are in our ears a lot and so once you clean it out with the alcohol uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to dislodge it and that comes either from blowing really hard through the front speaker you can also blow through this back air vent to get it going in a couple different directions um, so blowing on it that will dislodge the wax almost all of the time. Now, there, you can also suck on this front speaker. I know that's kind of gross, but that's another technique that's worked really well for a lot of people. And while you're at it, you can also clean out the side speaker, though that doesn't tend to be as much of an issue with the earwax as the front one. So between these two techniques of working with the Bluetooth settings in my technique number one, and then with the cleaning of the front speaker in your AirPods, that should eliminate, I would say, 99% of the audio problems that you're having. Now there could be hardware problems that you're having with your AirPods if uh, you drop them or somehow the, the hardware in them got damaged, then that gets into more technical and more complex problems, but I would say that is more the exception than the rule. So hopefully this has helped you solve your audio problem with your AirPods. Be sure to subscribe to the Handy Hudson Knight for more tips, hacks, and reviews like this one, and hit the notification bell so that you can get my content as it goes up, and I will see you in the next video.